Hello, Rhode Island deaf and hard of hearing community. Today, we're gonna talk about this. You know what these are, gift cards. It's so nice to get a gift card, but it's important that you beware because more and more people are being scammed by use of gift cards. And so I'm gonna to explain to you how that works. Recently, I got a couple of gift cards for my birthday from good friends. One was to Target. So I went to Target and I bought a couple of things and I got to the cash register, ready to pay with my gift card. And I handed it to the cashier and she said, oh, I'm sorry, the balance is zero. And I said, no, that's impossible. I just got this uh, $50 gift card from my friend. How could the balance be zero? Well, I took it home and I realized there was something wrong. It's so sad to have to report this, but for quite a while now, there have been scams going on with gift cards, typically done through phone or email or even through Facebook Messenger. For example, one person got an email from their brother-in-law and he said to her, um, I'm in Chicago, I forgot my credit card. Would you mind going to CVS and buy two gift cards for $100 each for me? Then I can give them to my nieces. And so the person said, absolutely, I'll do that. And they went to CVS right away and bought two Amazon gift cards. For $200, they got the cards, and the email also said, when you buy the cards, call me. I'm gonna have you pull the numbers off the back. You just, you um, pull those numbers off the back and give me the pin. Then I can give those cards to my nieces. And so the person got home and was ready to uh, call the brother-in-law with the numbers and give those pin numbers. And the brother-in-law said, oh, thank you, and then hung up. And several days later, she asked the brother-in-law, um, did you give your nieces those uh, gift cards? And the brother-in-law said, no, what are you talking about? And she said, but I gave you those pin numbers. And the brother-in-law said, oh, no, you never give a number over the phone to anyone on the phone. It's a scam. So what happens is they take the money based on those PIN numbers and they run off with it. So that happened. And that's only one of many, many examples. Now these scammers are getting more and more clever. And they do what's called gift card draining. You'll see this word more and more, gift card draining. And what that word means is they actually take the money that the value of the card is for. They take it right out of the card. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about how that's done. Scammers will get together, maybe in a building or in a home or whatever. They have machines and the machines are ready to do this scam. They send a group of people into a store like CVS or a department store like Walmart or Kohl's where they have lots of gift cards and they steal a bunch of cards, stuff them in their pockets and they come back to this center where the scamming happens. The scammers copy those numbers. It's actually a barcode. It's on the back of the card. And then they make a fake label that they put over that barcode and it looks very real. And then they put them back into those stores, hang them back up where they were, and they've already been drained of any value. And this has been happening more and more in the last six months. So if you go to a store and you buy a gift card, the money's no longer there. You, you may have to paid for it. Maybe it's $100 that you pay for it, but that money is not put 
on the card and whoever you give it to will not get the hundred dollars worth of gifts so when the cashier gets that fake gift card the money goes right to the scammers because the money goes to where that machine was set up to actually scam you so um, I'll show you some pictures so you get the idea So when you do go to a store to buy a gift card, what I recommend is you look at that card very carefully. Usually it's in an envelope of some kind. You want to make sure that it hasn't been touched or ripped or in any way changed. And then you might want to feel over that barcode. If it's kind of bumpy, it's probably a sticker that was made to conceal the real barcode. And you might want to check for the pin. If that pin is visible, then it's not a legitimate gift card. And you should bring it to the store cashier and make sure that you get a good one. So that's one suggestion. And in reading uh, a lot of police reports, there are suggestions that you don't buy gift cards from stores anymore because more and more stores are starting to actually put them behind the cashier or even locking them up. So that would be legitimate if you want, bought one behind, from behind glass where someone has to unlock the glass and give it to you. A lot more gift cards are being um, sold that way. So you wanna be safe and buy a gift card either online and make sure that that website is not a scam Obviously, if it looks like Amazon and you see all kinds of legitimate logos and so forth, um, then you can buy a gift card. And your friend or relative can buy whatever you want them to buy with that gift card. But you want to keep your eyes open. Be smart. Be aware that this scam is happening when you buy gift cards and make sure that it has the legitimate amount of money that you put into it and that that card is not being drained by scammers because they're getting rich and they're just laughing at us. It's sad, but it's true and it does happen. I'm gonna show you a couple of pictures now. And then if you have any questions, contact me at my office and we can talk about it some more. Also, you can go to the Federal Trade Commission or FTC.gov, they know how to handle scams and they're very, very experienced in understanding how they work. Just make sure though that you're not scammed in the first place. Thank you.